All right. All right. Welcome. We are we are live. Um, this is the first episode of Viewfinders, which is an interview series I do with with photographers and automotive creatives. And I've got my first guest, Hussein Erturk, here. Um, and I'm so excited to get started. So welcome. Hi, Kevin. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, you were someone that I thought, you know, we we go back five years or something and and you yeah. were um one of the first people i thought of for this because uh we have we have like such a shared common history Correct. um yeah. we we were both i don't know I mean, there, there was people doing creative things on instagram and i and i know photography is bigger than instagram and instagram is not the barometer of good photography but we were on instagram shooting cars with our phones finding creative angles and you know and like getting a little bit of recognition or or, or getting noticed on there um yeah. in what i would consider like the the early days like 2014 or 15 or something yeah. when um a lot of people i don't know if they saw it as a real artistic medium platform or um yeah i don't know I, and and i was and i think you were we were like iphone purists for a long time and, <laughs> and so it's like um, you know, I was finding, I would find cars parked on the street and shoot them and you have to find creative angles and you have yeah. to like hide this trash can or this, uh, Chevy Equinox that's in the background. Yeah. And so <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's, uh, it was a different skill, you know, it was a different thing. Like, do you, um, I mean, do you agree with, with that or have anything to add about the instagram those days oh yeah absolutely i mean first of all it was so much fun you know like yeah just, just shooting with your iphone is, is, is it's always fun to me at least absolutely um, and yeah there was that um it, instagram was a great great place for that you know just to um i don't know um shoot on your phone and then post it um and then uh find you know people that have like similar um uh, similar skills and um uh yeah um it was just interesting to see what what people could do with their iphones back then you know? yeah it, it, kind it of, was yeah i'm sorry it, it kind of I, I won't say it leveled the playing field but it was kind of like hey there's the, the we all are we all are participating in this challenge yeah. like how yeah. good can you make something how creative can you make something with these limitations using this exactly. device you've got yeah. one lens yeah. you've got whatever you see and so i was I had been doing like car reviews that were bad and bad car photography before that. And, and I, and I would have a car and I would shoot it and it would usually be like not the most interesting car. I mean, if it was like a focus ST, that was like a really interesting car. And then it was like, Oh, like I found like, Oh, I like shooting like this grungy muscle car parked on the street more than, you yeah. know, a new hot, you know, and that, and that is a cool hot hatch, nothing against the focus ST, but I, I love the old, you know yeah. the grungy like kind of stuff that you know you would find and yeah and it just forced you to be creative to to find angles and stuff um i keep saying angles and stuff but uh i've, so I've <laughs> no, got yeah, but it is it is it is a very important part of it you know because you have to um you have to work around that as you said you know like you can't just like you can't find all those cars like in like beautiful backgrounds with you know like amazing lighting you just got to work your way around it i think that's what uh made it really like interesting and fun um and i for me i think i started um uh to shoot more kind of like um street photography um like uh candid portraits and stuff like that um and then i transitioned into more like um shooting cars and stuff that i would find on the street as you said um especially like moving out here to la like so many cool 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 stuff around you know like, i know there's um, so many good cars in la it's crazy yeah, you can drive yeah. a car without air conditioning for like most of the <laughs> year and that's yeah. different than other parts of america and nothing really rusts out there um, yeah yeah so it's a, it's it is a good place for cars yeah yeah you, so this is like a car rant but you in somewhere like where I am, I'm in Texas, don't hold it against me. And you have to uh, 
like like if someone's driving a 40 year old Honda Civic, like that is a big commitment because they have had yeah. some major air conditioning repair that costs oh, money yeah. or they're suffering or something, or it's, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like in, in LA, people can just drive, you know, their 30 year old car and it's like not a big deal, I guess. No. Um, yeah. Like you just see them everywhere. Um, it's, that's, that's, that's how I, I think transitioned into more like um, shooting cars because I've, I've always loved cars, but um, for me um, in the beginning, street photography like was more important. Um, but uh, doing but, yeah. like portraits and shooting and people and, and yeah, deliberate, like, like I'm going to go shoot this thing. And not, this is my, not that deliberate, but like, just like finding those moments, you know, like, sure. Um, yeah. Like I was, I was again, like new to LA as well. Um, uh, yeah. To me, that was, that was, that was pretty interesting too, but cars kind of like took over um, like pretty shortly after that. Um, yeah. Well, so Hussein and I, we had like similar, I mean, we were similar on Instagram, just shooting, you know, all these street park cars and everything. And uh, uh, so when did you start getting recognition for shooting cars? I think, I think it started with um, Instagram's um, suggested user list. Oh, um, yeah. Back then it was a thing. Um, Instagram would um, give you a list of people to f follow when you first sign up. So um, I was on that list uh, for like a year on and off. So with that, I was, I was, I was getting like a lot of um, followers. Um, and I, I believe this was 2017. Um, GQ had this um, article about uh, about um, like best um, car accounts on Instagram. Yeah, or yeah, something. yeah. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so that, that kind of like, accelerated things as well i believe you were in that too right i, I think um, so i don't know if you remember this but there was a list someone had so someone in like 2015 had a list of best instagram accounts look on and it was on jalopnik it was like best car instagram oh, account. and it was yeah. all it was all like established car photographers posting their portfolio and yeah, and i just yeah. thought that was total bs because instagram yeah. was about at the, then now I've given in I've totally sold out but back then yeah. it's like Instagram was about <laughs> the moment and the limitations and like it just I, I don't know like just yeah. uploading your portfolio to Instagram at that time I there was plenty of people did it they didn't do anything wrong but it was yeah. like that was not what it was about at the time not for me and so I yeah, said yeah. I wrote like I wrote like a Kinja list of like okay these are the real best Instagram accounts because these are people yeah. that are that are do embracing this creative format in this different way. Um, yeah. And we'll talk a little bit about like what makes a good Instagram. Again, I know it's not all Instagram. Instagram is not the barometer <laughs> of good photography, but there is yeah, yeah, yeah. a discussion here. Um, and there was, the, and I made this list and it was, uh, and I created this list and they, they put it on Kinja and I, Ask uh -huh. someone at Jalopnik, like, please run this. And I included yeah. you on this list, and I included myself. <laughs> 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 so I was like, well, by the way, I do this right also. This is like, Here's you know, me. I, I was at the end. I was at the bottom. So very <laughs> humble of me. Um, yeah. um, so you were posting, you know, the stuff you found and the angles and interesting yeah. crops. I mean, I, I think when we look at your your feed and your photos, it is about cropping because you've got you know ugly stuff in the background or yeah, something yeah. undesirable and it's like oh i've got to put my phone directly on the ground to get this or or stand up on a you know uh lamp yeah. post to look oh, down yeah. to to hide the ugly stuff that is around no. me. especially yeah, yeah. especially me yeah. in houston <laughs> so la is not that different i guess when it comes to that you know um yeah but yeah, yeah. totally yeah um but yeah, and iPhone is great for that too because it's like, I mean, with my DSLR, um, I have I have a five D, um, so like you can't get down like really low, but then you have to like focus and everything, and and, and same goes for like standing up really high, you know, like getting those like bird's eye view right, um, right. shots. You gotta shoot like, and hope, spray and pray, and hope that it came out. Yeah, sharp. exactly. Like hope, hope you'll focus or you'll get the on the right thing. Right. Yeah, yeah, but with, with iPhone is like so easy. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it's I was about to ask Apple. you. I was about mm -hmm. to ask you what what I was about to ask you what an iPhone offers that a DSLR doesn't 
Um, yeah. Do you have any any anything else? Anything else? It's just fast. It's just so fast, and you know, it's, yeah, it's it's in your pocket. It's it's always with you. I know some photographers they would just like carry a camera with them all the time. Uh, I'm I'm not one of them. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, like I just I love shooting with my iPhone. It's it's it's, it's fun, you know. Like I don't, um, yeah, like um, I know something. It's like shooting with an iPhone is like you know, like it's 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 not as important or, but I I like it. I enjoy it. You know, I. I think of it as like one of those like you know um, really like famous games on your app, you know, like Candy Crush or whatnot. You know, to me, <laughs> to me, this is my Candy Crush. You know, like, this is your game. Yeah, yeah, this is my game. This is my Pokemon Go or something like that. You know, I totally. There's so many apps that you can download and make things like even more compelling. I guess like um, yeah, it's what do you think? makes a compelling photo on Instagram because I think there is different not rules but there's different yeah. things that make something a good Instagram post versus just a good photo um, because people are drawn to certain things and I even yeah. I even notice like something that looks more naturalistic versus like you know if I do a shoot and I have lights and everything's like really processed and yeah um it's a lot you know it's more work and that necessarily doesn't do as well yeah, on instagram no, because people yeah. people like the the snapshot aspect even now even with everyone posting like you know yeah. their portfolio work on instagram there is something um like there is a draw to something that looks a little more improvised a little bit more fresh um, yeah. and, and when you're scrolling through people like this like oh like this is an everyday scene heightened to the max. You know, this is a car I would never see in a in a background yeah. I might not see, but like it looks like you came across this, and I think I think people uh, respond to that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, like I think first of all, it needs to be um, vertical, like portrait. You know. Um, yeah. Which right. is not always the best way to shoot a car because you know um, then you. You would have to have um, a lot of road in the shot or like the sky, you know, sometimes you can't help it. Right. Um, but um, yeah, so I think I think it needs to like, to me, like stand out like really quick because uh, Instagram is like really fast as a medium, like compared to a magazine, right? Like you, you if you want to go through a magazine, you sit down, you take your time, but you know, with, with, with the iPhone, who knows, like where, where people right. are looking at them, right? You know, it's like, exactly. it could be something so fast. And um, so it needs to, you know, catch the eye like pretty quick. It needs to be like really compelling. I think, um, yeah, like, as you said, like something elaborate, like with the background, you know, something busy may not work as well as, you know, having like a really clean backdrop and, um, my sliding that makes the car like, I don't know, I guess pop. Um, yeah. Yeah. So like something that catches your eye really fast. So something like that, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Um, to, to go with what you said, I've, I have never posted a like horizontal crop photo on Instagram. Like <laughs> I never will. Cause it's, it's so small in the feed. Yeah. Like, why would you yeah. do that? Like why, why would you make it yeah. less visible? Um, I, I might have done it once or twice, but you know, like it's it's yeah, it's just, it's, I, it's not a good I've, good good way to display. I've added in ground just to make it like fill out a square, oh, you I'm, know. Versus, <laughs> I've done that too. Well, yeah, yeah, we we used to. There was an app on the phone that used to like help do that and stuff. But I've done it in Photoshop or whatever. I've done all oh, sorts yeah, of yeah. terrible crimes to images to make them oh. fit my aesthetic ideal. I do that um, all the time. <laughs> yeah. So. So we've got this photo on the screen and this one oh, yeah. um, stood out to me uh, and I like, I just love this lighting and everything. And so what was the scene that you came across and what did you do and what, what was your thought process on this? So, Trans -Am photo? Um, well, I love these things. I think, I think, I think they look so cool. I, I don't think I totally see myself owning one, but you know, <laughs> 
they're just so um photogenic i guess um so um yeah like we were just like walking around the neighborhood um you know casually and then we just stumble upon this then um i think i just got my uh new uh iphone 12 something max uh, pro max uh -huh. i think and it has the night mode so um i got to try it first time here and i was i was really impressed by it you know yeah um I know, I know you have mixed feelings about the night mode, I guess, <laughs> but... Um, no, I, I haven't really tried it much, I don't think. Oh, I, yeah. I have the 11 Pro. I think it's on there, but I don't know. Oh, I think I've made some sweeping generalizations before. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, um, I, was, I, was, I was really... Um, I was pleasantly surprised with the... Yeah. With the result. Was that just like uh, a street light that was lighting it? And then yeah, what yeah. what did you crop out to because this looks great and I'm sure that the scene was like, uh, you know, oh, again, yeah. like Chevy Equinox or something. <laughs> Ford Fusion. I don't, I don't think there was Parked a in front. Uh, there was a car in the back, but I think there was a um, like really ugly house. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I just like, you know, no. I uh, had to Yeah, and I might have added uh, like a light particle, um, you know, from the, yeah, that, that like it was it was partially there, but I might have uh, made it even Augmented like brighter. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, and for everyone that is paying attention, Hussein is very tall, so he had he crouched to get this perspective. <laughs> I, I might have. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, probably. Okay. Um, so this one, uh, I want to talk about this really quickly. You said you composited this. I think it's, yeah. I just think it's so cool looking and I'm like, I don't know what you did. I, I don't know what, what did you start with and what did you do? Um, Cause when I, I saw this, when I saw this originally, when you yeah. posted it, I was like, how did he do this? <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is one of those like uh, horizontal <laughs> yeah, rare one. Sin. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I th I th I think I was promoting the uh, print as well. That's why um, mm -hmm. I, I went with yeah. that. And then um, yeah. So this this started as a um, as I think I think it was like right around um, sun right 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 after sunset maybe or like may maybe a little darker than that. And I might have um, make it. I might have made it um, a little darker. And then um, I was just playing around with this um, brush that had the uh, smoke effect, and it it ended up working out pretty well. So I yeah I kept it in there. And Were you shooting I, I, this? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Were you shooting this like as a shoot, like with this car, or was it like you uh, just saw it? This was a uh, this was from an event like cars and coffee thing um, okay. in Burbank. There's that diner, Bob's Big Boy or something like that. I forget the name of it. It's like a, anyways they they have this event every Fridays, I believe. Um, so yeah, it was it was just from there, and then um, I must have got gotten rid of some of the background stuff. Um, uh, and yeah, I I think I added that those. Um, red lights um that, that yeah the colors look light. so nat like they're the colors look really good oh thank you yeah um yeah i think that's about it i guess yeah oh i okay, must so have added those headlights as well <laughs> headlights, <laughs> i think the, yeah. i and the like were the little lights on mm-hmm okay oh are the, are the little ones i don't uh, i don't think so i, th I think it's <laughs> Again, I'm not sure, but yeah, no, it's it's cool. I mean, you, you created a a piece of art. Um, yeah, so when you, like I said, we we have this background of working with these limitations, and then when you remove those limitations and you go and you shoot something, it's yeah. a. I found it to be a challenge because I would I would have a car. You have all the space in the world and you can park it where you want. The sun is in whatever direction you want. And it's like, suddenly I would default onto just, you know, crouch down and take a picture. And like, it's like, oh, I don't have to do a, a weird crop because yeah. everything's, everything looks good here. I don't have to 
like find this weird downward angle because the background's yeah. good and I've got the car with like nothing around it. And it's yeah. hard to get in that mindset of being creative when, yeah. when, when you have, when you take away those limitations. And so I found like, I would shoot all this, you know, well, for me, it was creative stuff, you know, in town around cars. I don't know, randomly seen. And then I would have a car and I would take it out and I would just take like boring photos because, <laughs> yeah. Uh, because it was just, I switched off that part of my brain. I didn't have to struggle. So how do you, did, did you, is that a challenge? And did you, how did you overcome that? Or do you, I mean, you, yeah. <laughs> I mean um, like, is it something you think about? I absolutely do. Yeah. All the time. Um, it is very overwhelming when you think about it, because what you're used to is like, Hey, like I've, here's, here's a car I found on the street and i gotta make it look good you know um there's no there's no way around it you know you, you can't move the car like you know you can only do so much to change the lighting you know um so yeah it is uh, it is challenging when you have all these options you know uh it is kind of overwhelming too um but um uh what was i going with this sorry um <laughs> Yeah, like it, it, it definitely is because then you have so much other things to think about, like lighting, composition, like everything needs to be perfect because um, you have all these options and then um, you, you're the one who's making decisions. So you need to be comfortable with that. And then, um, yeah, like that that is very challenging to me, you know. Um, it is. And it's just something you just got to think about and, and try to put yourself in that in that creative mindset yeah. of like, okay, yeah. I can't just settle and just do the defaults. Like I need to do something to make this weird yeah. or put your own spin on it, which, yeah. which brings me to um, like, do you, do you think you have a style and what, what do you think that like characterizes your style and, and how has that evolved? It is, it is, it is kind of difficult for me to uh, define my style because I don't, I don't know. Like I, like I don't really look back and um, analyze my photos a lot. I think um, well, we're doing but... that today. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Um, I guess I guess I try to um, make things look clean. Um, I do get a lot of people saying like it, it is very um, graphic. Mm -hmm. You know, you know the lines and everything, um, and. Um, People do tell me that um, I do uh, get those like angles, uh, interesting angles that that that, that we've been talking about. Um, actually, going going back to your uh, previous um, question, so um, this 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 happened to me once. I was I was I was doing a shoot, you know, like I was I was, I was planning the whole um, you know location and everything, and then this was like a I think like a three day shoot and at the end of the day day one the creative director told me like hey like why why don't you have those like crop shots more you know like those like angles and you know you know the the ones that we we normally do um oh yeah shoot you know with our, um, phones i was like i have the whole car here and i and i, and I and I have this whole like beautiful scene, like, you know, why do you want me to um, shoot this, you know? But I guess, I guess they're right, you know, I guess that ended up um, being our like style, I guess, you know? Um, and uh, yeah. Um, awesome. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was kind of surprised by that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess, I guess um, everybody sees things differently, you know? For sure. For sure. Um, I um, oh, go ahead, please. No, no. Yeah. I, I put this photo up here just because uh, I love like the composition is really cool. You've got this strong diagonal and um, but also like I was here. This was at Luft at the yum at the lumber yard. Yeah. Uh, and I like it didn't really look like this in real life. <laughs> like, you know, like, I just love how you kind of like I, I think that's all you were shooting in the sun, so it is natural. But like, I just like the colors and the tone, and and how um, you like you put your own spin on this. 
edit like it's a cool edit and a cool shot and a cool car and that's always makes for uh an interesting photo that people like and and they and they clearly have oh thank you um I, when you uh when you sent me this i was like oh it's a little blown out <laughs> i think this was like what um four years ago maybe yeah uh, to this me, was to me, it yeah looks, it looks a little blown up but I, I guess I can see Bruce in this photo. Um, no, I, I think it's I think it's just cool. Like it's, it is <laughs> yeah. it is stylized, but it's also you're shooting into the sun, and then you've got this yeah. really cool foreground element, and it's the lumber yard, and it's a good car, and because it is a little blown out, like this, this oh, my mouse does show up. Like this pole would would bother me if I if I was if it was like darker. <laughs> if it was like more pronounced, it would I wouldn't like that being there just because I'm see. like weird about that stuff. And yeah. but it's not a factor because of the, the color and it's it's brightened and um I mean it's it's believable that this is how it looked. And I'm not saying like, oh, you like nuked this photo and it didn't look like this because I was there. But I'm saying yeah. like I just like how you <laughs> I just like how it's it's stylized. Um and it's a cool uh you know, representation of this event, which this was probably my favorite loop okay. to shoot. Probably mine as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it just felt really natural, just the, the setting. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think the, um, the next one was a little bit more extravagant, I guess. Um, the, the one in the studio. Yeah. Um, totally. Like, you know, like, more eye-catching stuff, I guess. Like there's some like really like eye candy, but um, again, it's a studio. You know, it's not yeah. the most natural setting, I guess. But right. <laughs> yeah. So um, I wanted to talk about like you, this. I didn't even zero in on one photo. This is like a whole set of photos, yeah. um, and these are really nice from Death Valley. And yeah. Uh, and this is a situation where you've got the car and you've got no limitations and you could put it anywhere i love this that is yeah super cool yeah um, um just awesome framing and the color and the perspective um you made this look like an interesting car which is a big challenge yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but i personally like, like this generation but yeah. <laughs> you do i kind of do yeah. this is the current seven no no this is it this is this is the previous one Okay, but I think the big grill is the current one with a facelift. Yeah, no, yeah, it is. Okay, so, this is okay, yeah, so I guess it's not current, but it is the body oh, style that is, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just like, I, I love the, the colors and the tones in this set and how you've, they all complement one another, you know, and that's a real challenge with different settings and different times of day and everything and to make it look really cohesive and and just how warm this is is very is very uh like that appeals to me a lot because i like uh i like things warmed up um Same. you yeah, you have uh your use of color this is cool too you use color i think really well and like well if we look through your your feed like it's I mean, like this one is like the one that I made the 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 thumbnail graphic. Like, yeah. it's just it's such a clean and deliberate color. And I know, like, you make it look natural, but I feel like it's maybe not. Like, you're taking out a little bit of color in other places to to yeah. heighten the color. Is that is that? I'm yeah. I'm putting words in your mouth now. So just no, like, no, no. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, no, I I do um, for for most stuff. Because yeah. otherwise it's just you know, um, I don't know. Road, the roads tend it's... to look bluish. Sometimes I don't like that. Um, or or if it's too um, warm, I don't like that either. It's just, um, I, th I think it's important to find that uh, balance and then uh, give it a little bit more character. I guess. Yeah. Um, I, th I think that's my goal. Um, I I also do uh, lean towards uh, warmer tones. Um, yeah. but it is also, um, photo dependent too, you know, like, um, totally. some of the night shots, I, I kind of like having, um, you know, cooler tones, I guess, I guess, um, oh, the one below that, uh, the, the, the Lamborghini oh. photo, for oh, example, yeah. you know, like for, 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 for stuff like that, I don't, I don't mind going, um, you know, um, De yeah, definitely. Going towards, I, I... 
I like that for for artificial lighting to yeah um, make it look like a little weird and mm -hmm. heighten the different that sort of lighting for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I like that as well. Um, but. Um, but yeah, but it looks that, so yeah. natural. Like you're, if you're taking color out, like this is just so clean and it, like, I, I, that looks like how, that just looks like what I like is like an idealized scene. Well, that, you know, with, with that one, Palm, Palm Springs help, you know, like when you, when, right. when you shoot there, like almost anything that comes from the, comes out of the camera, it's pretty <laughs> natural to, to to, yeah to begin with but yeah no um and then you had your little touches i guess but this is a composite yeah. as well but <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't really this disclose that that much but yeah no that's well you created something and it's and it's very cool um this set with this navigator and i know these are we, we've talked about the challenges of of shooting yeah some vehicles, um, mm -hmm. and again, this set like you've got everything. Like that's such a cool perspective, but every Thank everything you. looks just so cohesive, and that is such a challenge when you are providing like forty photos and, yeah. and you want them to look like a family of images. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I I love this because I know this is a challenge. Are these real flares? Like these uh, spots? Yeah, no, those, okay. are, those are real flares. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. The headlights make that possible. That looks great. But Thank you. Um, yeah, is there any of these that you that you want to go into more detail on? Um, I'm not sure. Let me see. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess. Uh, well, the first one, so the first one was actually a static, sh it wasn't static, I guess, but, um, I was, I was in this like really, uh, tight road, um, and I didn't have a lot of room to, to the, uh, panning. I mean, mm -hmm. we didn't have enough time. So, um, that was, that was done, um, uh, in the post. Okay. Um, I guess I guess I could say that, but, um. Overall, this was this was fun. Uh, it, was, it was challenging um, because we were like scouting as we uh, as we as we traveled around. Mm -hmm. um, so so that's that's always challenging and kind of like stressful, I guess, in a way. But um, overall, it was, it was great. I mean, um, I guess um, especially on that time, like I was just doing shoots in LA. Um, I was kind of like tired of shooting in LA and like being in. Lake Tahoe was kind of, um, you know, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, beautiful. like refreshing. The, I won't, I won't have to deal with like I don't know parking attendants or like security <laughs> people and all that. You know, so yeah, that was, that was, was kind of nice. And the background's pretty much always great. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's, it's a beautiful place. What time of day was some of these? Were you shooting all day, or was it was it like all day? Okay. Yeah, all day. So that's that's one of those challenges that that right that you face with. Like you can't just like go and like shoot during sunset and sunrise and just call it a day. Um, but yeah, like you, you just have to you utilize that time, that mm -hmm. that whole day for some shoots. And this this was one of one of those. And it it that that is also an in, interesting challenge when you think about it. The the harsh light and sometimes i do like that look as well um it's not yeah, yeah. well i mean this is like one of my favorite mixes where you've got like the light is strong but you've got the deep shadows and yeah um it's that's nice it's a real it's a real challenge with a dark blue like this too. oh yeah, the, uh, yeah you know, you're right yeah I'm, I'm, you I'm you really want it that. to be like like this looks like it's like softer like maybe the clouds were obscuring a little yeah. bit it was still late in the mm -hmm. day um, but yeah, reflections yeah, do so bother take, me in that, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but to take the whole day, um, at least it's pretty reflections, it's trees and forests and, yeah. and Lake right. Tahoe yeah. reflecting in it. So it's, it shows it's that it's works. in the scene and it's not like this, this static thing. You're right. Um, You're right. yeah. So, and you recently shot, I'm trying to see which ones we've gone through. Oh, this is, I say, this is just such a cool example of like a 
great crop because I think oh, was this okay. probably at like the Peterson maybe? Yeah. Yeah. And um, people, a lot of people would try to get the whole thing and get, other stuff or have some of this skewed perspective. Like I love this detail of this, you know, this engine, the engine cover and just like, it's very yeah. iconic and a great, great crop. And the color looks awesome. The shadow looks extremely my S EMS. I would say that looks, uh, <laughs> cause it's, it, I love like a really good shadow like that. So yeah. this one Graphic spoke to shadows. me. This yeah, one spoke no. to me cause it's like, you can, anyone can shoot, you know, just like the whole car, but you just selected the right, yeah. the absolute right part for a, a cool composition. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's it's an awesome place to shoot cars too. That that parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. But yeah, this again, your color, everything looks neutral and natural. It doesn't look like you. It doesn't look like you did like selective color where you know back in like two thousand four with like the Kodak app or something on a digital phone where it's like I'm gonna make everything except this thing red you know everything's gonna be black yeah. and white except for one thing that's red like you don't no, it never yeah. comes across never comes across that way um, and you're not I doing that but but you're doing like selectively selectively taking out color to really like Some under, yeah. underscore yeah. important color yeah yeah not not all the time but like there's mm. there's times and it it yeah. is used to great effect and the color always looks really good thank so you. i just wanted to tell Thanks you that. For noticing that yeah thank you um and you i wish we could see this bigger but uh this you recently shot <laughs> you can make the ads bigger you recently <laughs> shot the nissan z for for road and track in a studio yeah um yeah. and you got a lot of uh really good images thank and you. these i mean just look like you know the factory photos and did you have like a day for this or a, a morning or um i had um three hours i believe yeah three hours wow because you got a lot of shots like i went through we won't go through all these but you got like 35 like final images yeah yeah um something like that something like that yeah i it was it was an interesting challenge because i'm not that uh used to um shooting in studios so mm -hmm. yeah but but overall, it was it was it was a nice um, it, was, it was a great um, great studio setup, I guess. So that so that definitely helped. Um, no, yeah. Uh, I wish I could have um, ha like had more time to uh, play with lights and you know um, made something a little bit more interesting. But I guess I guess that that was not the goal with this assignment. So I'm not that bothered with it but hopefully yeah it's it's so nice and you show exactly how it is in a, in a very nice yeah. idealized way and i would have done this and i'd i'd be like i want to rush through and try to get something weird and then it's like i'd go back and it's like oh this wasn't actually straight on none of these are straight on <laughs> I, would, I would be screwed so these are all i mean these are it's not easy to get like the perfect perspective and everything did you have to do much post-production on these yeah 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 yeah. Um, well, the you know um, tire marks. So tire marks were everywhere. Um, so <laughs> I, I had to mask the whole thing out um, and then <laughs> created my own little studio, I guess. Um, oh, shadows were kind of challenging as well when it comes to that. But yeah, I, 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 I just wasn't comfortable with um, delivering images with tire marks all over it. Yeah, um, it's it's so hard to make a convincing background, and this this one is. I never would have guessed that. Um, but also the shadow, like you want to use the shadow that's there. And then it's like, there's a tire mark going into it. So you can't just yeah. like mask, you can't yeah. get just, Sometimes, you can't feather yeah. out that part where there's a tire mark. And so when you yeah, do a studio, yeah. like the, a studio shoot like this for people uh, watching, like it, uh, there gets like, they move the car and there's tire marks everywhere and they just, they repaint the floor white. And that yeah. lasts for, you know, one minute. And, you know what I mean? They, like, when they come <laughs> yeah. in, they, before they bring the car and they paint the floor white, it's clean. And then, and then as soon as you start moving the car, you just get, yeah. excuse me, tire yeah. zigzags yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and it's tough to work with that. And I'm sorry you had to do so much editing, but yeah, <laughs> I guess there's no way around it. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, you could do some like spot uh, retouching, I guess, but you know, it's just like kind of tough and yeah. Yeah. For okay, sure, this is the cleanest way. Um, yeah, no, it came out. It came out great. People, everyone should. We'll link you. to this, but everyone should look at the set. Um, and yeah, just like nice and even. That's cool. So, uh, 
we were both at Luca Cult Seven uh, last yeah. week, and oh, yeah. what was we we talked a little bit about Luft because we were both at San Pedro shooting four years ago. Um, what was a challenge from from shooting this this year? Um, well, to me, it was it was less challenging to be honest. Like, um, I th I think there were like less uh, media personnel. I think that really yeah. helped. Yeah, in the morning, I wasn't, like I wasn't one of them this year. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I tried. <laughs> no, I know you did. I didn't yeah. make the effort. And then I was like, no, I'm actually. I went because I didn't know I was going to shoot it um, for anyone until like two days yeah. before. So um, I did. I like I didn't really reach out. And then you were like, "This is who you should talk to." And I was like, "No, nah, I'm already committed to this." <laughs> no, and yeah. so. I'm like, no, I'm, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm embracing a bigger challenge because I'm in there with the regular people. So I'm, I'm yeah, on I mean, hard I, mode. Um, I, can't, I can't wait to see those photos, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I am allowed to publish them in like a month and a half. So oh, <laughs> we'll keep no, waiting. No, no. <laughs> um, um, oh yeah. So this, this year's event, um, I feel like it was smaller too compared to uh, the last one. The one in, it was um, it was smaller and there was less people and there was yeah. there was fewer cars. But I liked that the cars weren't like stacked on top of each other. Yeah. There was more space around them. Uh, it was it was in this bottle bottle works district in Indianapolis, yeah. and so it. Uh, Chris, my friend who who uh, also went, he said it was kind of like a movie set, which it, it kind of was. It kind of felt kind of weird. Yeah. It was all old old city stuff renovated recently um, yeah. to be kind of cool and kind of uh, like Brooklyn -y or something, but it is, it's, it's mm -hmm. definitely a cool area. It was neat to shoot there and they closed off a bunch of roads and alleys and, yeah. uh, and buildings. And so it was, it was just kind of cool to have all those spaces. So I, I thought yeah. it was a good challenge. Uh, or I, I thought it was, I thought it was fun creatively. Um, I, like I said, I, I think the universal studios one was, was really cool as a spectacle it wasn't my favorite to shoot of the of busy. the previous events it was it was very busy and the cars just kind of seemed like lined up in rows everywhere oh, yeah. no yeah um, so many cars yeah yeah um so yeah like especially like those like alley um setups were awesome I yeah thought. and then uh there was some um vintage points as well where you could just go up and uh, shoot shoot from a um like a little bridge set up. Um, well, I couldn't. I couldn't. But 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 one could. <laughs> one, it was closed I, off. It was closed off. Oh really? Yeah. They uh, they, they uh, gated that off after after the media morning session. Oh. I like I said, that. I was yeah. travel. I was shooting on. I was I was taking on a bigger challenge. <laughs> too, I, guess, in a way. I put a noble. I, I put a noble spin on my own <laughs> uh, effort. Yeah, I can't wait to see those. No, I am. Um, but overall, it was great, and where I stayed was like right in the middle of the event too. Yeah, um, so that, that that was amazing as well. Um, yeah, this was the first loop where we didn't have to. I didn't have to drive out twenty five minutes from where I was staying to go to the event, like because same. it was all <laughs> central Indianapolis. Yeah, um, no, same. And I liked that. Uh, well, yeah. if anyone has any questions for Hussein, we will um, gladly take them. Um, and uh, I was going to ask if you do you have advice for anyone trying to get into automotive photography? I know it's um, it's a challenging. Everyone likes taking pictures yeah. of cars, and it's a challenge to make that next step. Next step. I, I mean, um, I can shoot as much as you can, you know, mm -hmm. um, and. Go go to cars and coffee events and um, and once you're ready, once you feel like you're ready, you can always like reach out to people, I guess, um, to shoot their cars or like friends or even like your car, I guess, like your personal car. Um, and yeah, like just just keep shooting and um, always look for in inspirations and. Um, always try to be inspired be try to be motivated i know sometimes it's hard um uh, but yeah um yeah I think definitely the best of the ones that come to my mind 
the best way to do something that you want to do is to do it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, exactly. and just and keep, keep, keep doing that and, and find things. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree 100%. You, I mean, I think, I think anyone that, that picks up a camera and points it towards cars is, is passionate about cars and, and shooting yeah. cars probably. And um, so, yeah, just no, stick yeah. to it. Uh, we've got a question from Nathan. Uh, do you, do we prefer shooting classic cars or modern cars, especially in regards mm. to different shapes and details and how that influences reflections? Um, uh, well, it depends, but mostly classic cars, I guess. Cause they're just yeah. cooler. You know, I don't, I don't have yeah. anything interesting to add, but like, they're just like cooler, you know, they're, they're, they're more photogenic, I guess, because you don't, I mean, I guess we see them time to time, like, you know, um, especially around LA, but like, you don't always see them. You don't always see a great example. So especially when you find like a great example to shoot, it's, it's always nice, you know. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, classic cars just have, there's something timeless. Like there's something always cool about it. You know, yeah. like you said, I said the same thing. There's something, there is something about a classic um, and when you're shooting a new car, sometimes it feels like an ad or something and it's yeah. not as good. Like uh, with a classic car, it feels like you're doing something bigger. Like you're documenting history, <laughs> which is yeah, yeah. a very big uh, kind of. yeah, spin yeah. on this. But um, um, someone asked what your favorite car is and what your car is. And you have a picture. This is your car. Is it not? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry um, to put you on the spot. <laughs> no, no. Um, what's my? I don't. I don't think. I don't think I have a favorite car. Um, I think that's a very tough question to um, answer. I don't. I don't know. It, it. It always changes. You know. Like, yeah. Every day of the um, week. Every the week. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess. I guess I like Porsches a lot. Um, I don't have much experience with them. Um, but you know, that's like a, it's like a goal. But you've shot, you've shot a lot of them, and that's that's yeah. experience. I feel like there's a, <laughs> there's a, I feel like you take like an ownership of the cars you shoot, just like one percent. You know, it's like in a way, yeah, you're right. You know, yeah. it's like if I take a trip and get pictures, it's like, oh, I have my souvenir from this trip because I have yeah. these images that I'm proud of. Like this is this thing, yeah. and that uh, yeah. definitely is is the same with cars. It's like, oh, like I'm probably not going to own a GTO, like. <laughs> the one in the picture, the one up here, but but uh, Definitely not. you know, if you if you can take a picture of it, it's like you have this little slice of it, like you have this moment, um, and that's yeah. that's how I yeah. how I think of it. Um, yeah, nice to put, yeah. yeah. So I think that is it for my questions. Um, I'm I'll let you plug anything you have to plug, or if you want to say anything, or um. um well, well, thank you for this opportunity. Um, of course, thanks for thinking of me. Um, well, thanks, thanks for yeah, thanks for being on. Like I said, I, I had this idea. I wanted to do this. Um, hopefully, the internet worked yeah. well for everyone. <laughs> no, and, yeah. And and uh, like, I just feel like this is just such a cool thing to do with car photographers. And you were like, you know, the first person I wanted to talk to because I wanted to have this conversation thank about, you. you know, these the old days of. Instagram and and how and yeah. our similar approaches and how like we have evolved oh, yeah. and grown and the struggles that you still have you know the struggle of of still finding that like creative edge when it's so easy to just settle into like oh, I'm just gonna take this picture in this front of this background you know yeah no it is it it, it really is yeah no um yeah I um I have my print shop if if, if anyone oh yeah yeah really visit visit his website and and store for prints uh, i have one up here that you can't see oh, but you. um yeah so uh, visit hussein's print shop to follow him on instagram you probably already do if you if you know me if you're watching this you probably do but uh <laughs> definitely check him out there um yeah thank you we got one more question coming <laughs> okay. um so what is what do you think of the trend of new luxury magazines? Another question that came in about camera recommendations. I think we would both say just get really good at shooting with your iPhone. That's my recommendation. Yeah. Um, that sounds like and a good one, yeah. the the trend of magazines like Road Rat and others, the premium magazines. I mean, I think it's good. I think I think anything where there's more photographers getting work 
is yeah. is good for us and for the industry yeah. and more exposure. Um, obviously, the the landscape has shifted from from traditional print to online. So for there to be yeah. a recognition of of photography and also like premium photography, premium printing is is good. So I answered Absolutely. that for you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. I, I, I think it's great for the car culture as well. You know. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It, it, it moves it that. into, elevates it into being, you know, like uh, being a fan of these cars is a fan of, of you know, art. It, it's, a, it's like a higher cultural thing than just, yeah. you know, the kind of bad rap of, car guys <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. uh yeah and nathan said photographers and writers absolutely it's great for photographers yeah. and writers absolutely um yeah well i think we're gonna end this now um it's been a fantastic time like i said thank you again thank you. everyone follow who's yeah. saying um and i think i think that's it we're gonna we're gonna call it a show so thanks a lot everyone right. thank you